Namaste. In this video, we will look at joins and how to join two tables in Tableau. Okay. Now, first of all, I'll be using this joins table, which I've created just for demonstration purposes. It has a left table and a right table. In the left table, I have a names of seven people with the IDs running from ID one to seven. And in the right table, I have the marks obtained by them in a particular exam. Okay. Now, I do not have all of those seven people. But you see, I have ABC 008 and ABC 001. So these two are extra people which are not part of my left table. And some people, for example, ABC 007, which was Gavin and ABC 006, which was Frank. So Gavin and Frank were not present in my left table. No, Frank was present. So ABC 005. So Emily and Gavin, they were not present in my right table. Okay, So they, so they didn't give the exam. So let us first connect to the data source. So I'll be connecting to the joins table. So I'll first drag the left table onto the canvas. So now to join these two tables, if I first, if I drag this right table here itself, it will be a relationship. Okay. So that is not what I want to do. So to join this right table onto this left table, I need to double click on this left table. And now this is the physical layer open. That was a logical layer. So this was the this was a logical layer where we can relate tables, multiple tables with each other on a particular relating field. And to join two tables, we need to double click on the logical table. So this will open up the logical layer. And if I just now drag this right table here, now it is asking me to join the tables. Okay. So now you see it has joined the two tables using an inner join on which column it is on the ID column. Okay. So that is what we wanted, right? On the ID column, we want to join these two tables. Now, how is the joins working? If you are familiar with the SQL joins, well and good, you can skip this lecture. But if you are not familiar, then follow along with me. I'll be working through the, all the types of joins. Now, what is inner join? Inner join is basically, it will look at all the matching fields in both the tables. Okay, based upon the common field that we have chosen. So here it is the ID field. So if it is an inner join, so what will happen is, it checks whether this ABC 001 is present in the right table. It does find one and hence we have Allen, ABC 001 and Mark 7. Now next we have Blake in the left table. So Blake is ABC 002. So it will come to the right table and check whether we have ABC 002. It does find ABC 002 here. So it will make a row for ABC 002 and marks 8. Okay. Now it will again check if it has any other ABC 002 in the right table. Now it does find another ABC 002. Now this result may be because of a duplication, a data duplication. Okay. So we don't know that initially. So if it finds a matching ID, it will create another row and we'll have another Blake with eight marks. Okay. Next, it will come to the left table again. It will try to find Kathy ABC 003. It does not find ABC 003. So it will skip this row altogether. So it will skip Kathy. Then Dina ABC 004 and then Frank ABC 006. So if I come here ABC 004, I have nine. So Dina ABC 009 and Frank ABC 006, ABC 006 with five marks. So I have these two records. And since I do not have Emily and Gavin 005 and 007 in the right table, those two results are also skipped. So this is the inner join. It is taking the intersection of both the tables on the matching column. Now the left join, what is a left join? So it will take all the records which are present in the left table and all the matching records in the right table. So what I mean is, for example, it will first check in the left table, ABC 001, the first record, it will come to the right, it finds one. So it will make a row for Allen and seven marks. Then it will come to Blake. Similarly, ABC 002, it will find two records. So it has ABC 008, one record and ABC 008, ABC 002, 8 marks and again Blake ABC 002, 8 marks. So it has two records here as well due to the data duplication. Next, uh, does it find Kathy? Okay. Now, it, it, of course, it doesn't find Kathy, Kathy in the right table. But since it is present in the left table, the left join will include this Kathy ABC 003 nevertheless. And it will have null values in both of these columns because it was not present in the right table. Similarly for Dina, it had a match in the left, in the right table. So I have Dina and nine marks. 
Now Emily, it didn't have a match in the right table, and hence ABC double O five Emily null null, and Frank, it was a match in the right table, so I have ABC double O six and five marks. Gavin did not have a match, and that is also having nulls. Okay, and since it is in left table, it is included in the data table. Now right join is a little bit opposite of that. It will include all the rows which are present in the right table and all the matching fields from the left table. For example, ABC double O one does it find ABC double O one here? It does find. So Allen finds a place here. Okay. Now next is ABC double O eight in the right table. If I come ABC double O eight. Now there is no matching uh, ID value ABC double O eight, but still it. Will keep its place. ABC double eight four marks with the two null values here because the value wasn't present. Similarly, ABC double ABC zero one one also it wasn't present in the left table, but it was in the right table and hence it keeps its place. And if you notice, we do not have Kathy, or Gavin, or Emily. So all of these three records have been skipped because they was they were in the left table and not in the right table. You can make it out from this uh, symbol as well. You know. It is taking all the right values in the right table and the intersection of right and left, but excluding all the white region, which is only the values which are present in the left table. Next is a full outer join. Full outer join is basically it is a very generous type of join. It will include all the values whether it is present in the other table or not. Okay, so for example, Kathy, Emily, and Gavin they were not present in the right table, but still we will see Kathy, Emily, and Gavin here, and. Even though we didn't have matches for ABC double O eight and zero one one, but still they will find a place in this outer join, and will have null values here. So these are the four types of joins.